All right, so right now I have uh, my Figma file opened up and this is the completed version of the application that we are going to be making. Again, it is going to be a bucket list application that lists the different road wonders and we can go ahead and click on one. It'll bring us to a detailed page and we can then check off the list or the item from the list and it will remove it from our main bucket list here. So the first feature we're gonna go over is remote actions and it's gonna be connected to this button down here at the bottom once we once we complete a bucket list item we can check it off and it will remove it from our main list here now in order to do that you can also come over to Bravo's tag list and their master list here there is under the action section a remote action you can actually go to the tutorial and we're going to follow along this tutorial a little bit our application is going to be slightly different but it will take the same concept from this documentation now what we do need to set up in our application is our collection I went ahead in Airtable and made a just a short list of locations I went ahead put in latitude and longitudes because that is what we are going to be using later on as well as location and a photo and you can go ahead and add the air table database to your api collections here you use the air table wizard to go ahead and copy the link from here and import it you will have to then add a request because it's only going to give you the list and detail request here we're going to have to add a request and we're going to have to make it a delete feature because what's going to happen is when our button is pressed here it is going to delete it off of our Airtable database and then that is going to be removing it from the actual bucket list here on the left now in order to get that delete feature added go ahead add a request switch it to delete you're going to go over to on your Airtable document in the top right uh, hit the help question mark and at the very bottom here you're going to see API documentation and when you click on that it's going to bring you to the documentations and you can go under wonder tables here or whatever your table is named and you're going to see a delete records down here at the bottom now when you select the delete records on the right here you're going to have some code and URLs that you can copy and paste and you're going to have to take this top URL right here and that is going to be your URL for your delete feature. Now you are going to have to add this dollar sign and within curly braces the ID. And what this is going to do is when this request is enabled, it is going to take the ID of whichever detail page we are on and what you'll also have to do if you look at the documentation here you'll have to take the authorization the bearer and your api key and plug that into the header key and value right over here and that is going to be the setup for the delete feature so again this is going to delete from this record here the wonders and whatever id this request is activated on that is the id that's going to be removed from the Airtable base so once we have that set up we then need to add a remote action to an item in our figma file so if I go over to my Figma file here and I click on our complete item button right over here, we have our complete button and I added the action remote and that's all we need to do in our Figma file once we create the element. Now back in our app here, if we go to our application and we go to the detail page, we then have to now trigger this remote action so if we come down here and find our button we have our complete button right here we can then choose the Airtable base that we are going to get our delete request from and the bucket list is what we are using as our main list we're not going to be getting any list or details we are going to be using the delete feature i like to display a confirmation message just to make sure that the user knows what they're going to be doing so i just put you can display a mess a message here and i just put are you sure you want to complete now this one here after they hit complete we want them to go back to the list of world wonders so we are going to go to a page 
and I am redirecting it back to the bucket list page with the list of road wonders. Now, in case of an error happening, it will show an alert and it will just say error. Now, there is one more thing that we have to do for this application, and that is every time we complete one of these world wonders, and it's gonna take us back to the bucket list page, the bucket list page is still gonna have the information that it had when it first loaded the application. So what we are gonna have to do, if I look here, we do have a refresh page option. And there is a page refresh always. And this is every time the page is opened, this remote call is done and it refreshes the data on top of the screen. So I'm gonna take this refresh always page. That way, whenever we go back to this bucket list page here, I'm gonna put the refresh always next to it. And every time we complete an item and it takes us back to the bucket list page, this bucket list page will refresh and the item that we just completed should no longer be there because it gets removed from the database whenever we complete it hitting the button. So that there is the remote action feature. You can use this for different features as well, not only deleting, but also adding or getting other information from your Airtable database or wherever you're getting your data for. This was just a quick example. Again, you can check out the documentations on Bravo's website and you can also read through it and see how to go ahead and implement this as well. Next, we're gonna move on to adding maps to our application whenever we go onto a detail page. So let's go ahead and get that started. Mm -hmm. 